<laughs> okay, so I'm trying to be a minimalist. Kind of. I don't know. Minimalism. Okay. Minimalist lifestyle. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Digital nomad? Yeah, so that makes sense, right? I move a lot, I move around a lot. I'm probably going to be on the go a lot and travel quite a bit, go to new places, explore new things. And because of that, I think it is best not to have as many things. Like, oh, one sec. So first off, we have the things on my desk. So, I guess, we have those things. Then we have the things on my desk. All right. And then we have this. Got some clothes. Some more clothes. Bag. There's another bag down there. That's not mine. And then some of this stuff. Those are the things I currently have. And I'm trying to keep continuously going down on the things that I have in order to have, well, very little. Choosing only a few clothes, keeping a few things. There's like the, the teapot over there. I want to keep that kind of a memento thing. I love tea. I'd love to keep that. Don't really have a reason to get rid of it other than it would just, it's breakable. And if I'm driving around, I don't want it to break. But I'm not getting rid of it yet. Hopefully never, but right now, no. So this is one of the things I'm getting rid of. I got this uh, like a few months ago. I don't know. I can't remember. I got it because I thought I was going to do more product photography, portrait shots, and stuff like that. And then that hasn't turned out. And most of the shots I've taken, well, I don't need something like that. Also, I have these things that I'm currently getting rid of. These are... It's weird. You know, getting rid of things... Because there's this satisfaction of, yay, I'm actually getting rid of stuff and I'm cutting down on things I need. I don't need all this stuff. But then there's also the whole, I want more things. Like on a different microphone. I have all these books. I need to read through most of them. And I want more books eventually. So finding the balance of, okay, when do I get rid of stuff versus when do I get new stuff? And why do I get rid of things? for new things. It's a little, a little tricky, you know? And because I'm getting rid of these things and because I'm trying to cut back, I have to make a lot of decisions. I have to take my time and really think about how much something is providing value to me. This guitar, for example, this was my father's. I'm keeping it slightly as a memento, but also because I want to get back into music to some extent, you know, have that as a creative release. Um, like I draw, I have things that I'm trying to work on for drawing. I have things I'm trying to work on, on business, creativity, all of that. But I also sometimes just need something that's just for me, that's not going to get released to anybody, and that's why I have this guitar, and that's why I'm keeping it. It's a little bit of a hassle to carry around with me everywhere I go. Yeah, but I'm going to. As I decide what to get rid of and what not to, I have to make decisions on what is going to impact my life, and why do I need these things. I'm kind of in a sense, one of those doomsday people. Not that I meant to be. <laughs> I just, I like being prepared in case anything happens. So like having a first aid kit in my car at all times, tools in my car at all times, that's great, right? Yes and no. So yes, because if in case anything does happen, guess what? I'm prepared. But if nothing happens, then I'm just carrying things around 
for no reason. That's sucks because <laughs> then I have too much stuff and it's dragging me down. You know, and maybe I can't pack everything into my car. Like the desk I have right here, this desk right here, I use it now more often than I would have if I was moving around. And I eventually want to get to the point where I have a home base and then I travel around and I can keep certain things like the desk and the teapots and you know a few other memento type things and I can keep them in that area but I don't have a home base right now and you know it could be a little bit before I do if it is going to be a little bit before I do actually have the time and the, the money to have my own place then I don't really need to be carrying all these things around with me so I decide what is truly important to me and I get rid of the rest. I carry what I can with me and if there are certain things where it's strictly memory, well, unfortunately my grandparents have let me keep my stuff at their place. So I have like, well, I have two boxes there. One's pots and pans and then the other is actual like photo books. Other than that though, I don't really have anything that I need need that can't fit in a few suitcases like my tech stuff which now can fit in this bag and it's like it's small it saves space oh uh, there is actually one one bigger thing not really bigger it's more just like it just it they, they take up a lot of space and it's because i like collecting them but it's because they're really cool to to me, they're cool. They're cool to me. One sec. By the way, card for kit, uh, thanks for the sticker. My cards. Do I need them? No, I probably only need one deck to mess around with, you know? Like, let's say I decided to keep this deck. All I really do with a deck of cards is spring them. Because I have no other skills with cards, I just, and then mess up occasionally. There's a lot to learn. <laughs> There's a lot to learn about myself and what I need and what I don't need and the things that truly keep me going in order to genuinely enjoy my time. So one of those things is I want to travel around to new spots. I don't like being held in one area too, too long. As in like, if I can go out for a day, I'd rather go out and be out in nature than sit at my computer all day. But trying to figure out what stuff I need for that, you know, doing a computer, you know, do I need my camera, do I need multiple lenses, so I got 35 millimeter, and then I have this one, which, oh, I'm just going to auto focus. Do I need all of those things, or can I cut back, get things that are better, that are smaller, and keep everything you know, minimized. Can I get those things and make my life simpler, easier, better to manage? I guess that's the, that's the angle. Even if I have my own place, even if I collect, you know, art and whatever it is, I just want to be able to go around and make things simple easy, transferable, to where I don't have to spend so much time worrying about how I'm going to pack everything in my bag, or, you know, is, are the clothes I'm wearing right now, can I wear them in the woods versus can I wear them, you know, at the mall? I don't, I don't want that problem. I just want to be able to enjoy life and not worry about, like, all those things. So get rid of my crap because why do i need like why why do i need a like 
Let's put it this way. With the photo gear I'm, I'm selling. I don't do portrait shots. I don't do streaming. I don't do anything like that to actually keep a backdrop stand and backdrops. At one point I was going to, that's why I got them. I always try to make sure I get things for when I'm going to use them, but I didn't, I didn't use it. And now I'm sitting here and I have spent my money on it and that money could have gone to other things. Hindsight's 2020. There are people in my life that have, and are probably watching this and going, yeah, we knew that, we knew that. That's fine. Well, there are certain things that I was getting that I thought I was going to use, and I didn't. There are certain things I've gotten that I have fully used, such as this camera, my laptop, my phone, and this tripod. The tripod that my camera's on right now. But not everything I get or have gotten is something I can use consistently and if i'm not using it i don't need it and then i should find it a better home I should find someone else that would like it but i think that's really it for my rant though <laughs> if you have stuff but you're not using it and there's no memento behind it or you, you know you're not going to use it or you don't have a place to store it get rid of it don't hoard your stuff. Don't hoard things that you're not gonna use. Sell it on Facebook Marketplace or give it to Goodwill or find a friend that wants it. Get rid of your stuff. You don't need it all. It makes it easier to go around, to travel, to have, have an enjoyable life of just doing rather than wallowing in the stuff. What's the point of wallowing in the stuff? There's none. So enjoy your life and get rid of things that you don't need and you won't use. That's it. That's my opinion, by the way. That's an opinion. That's it. So do it. Don't do it. It's up to you. But I found that in my life, it is nice to know that I don't have to carry around all this crap. And so I'm getting rid of it. That's it. <laughs>